With the Frame.io iOS app, you can collaborate from just about anywhere and anytime. To get started, download the app to your iOS device from the App Store. Then launch the app and sign in. I'd also suggest enabling notifications when prompted. There are three icons along the bottom, Projects, Notifications, and Profile. Projects is selected by default. All projects you have access to are listed here, with the ones recently updated up top. You can search existing projects, Tapping the three-dot Options menu lets you delete the project if you're a team member or change settings. Only the project creator can change the public or private setting, but any team members can turn on advanced settings and change collaborator permissions and adjust email notifications for themselves and everyone else. I'll turn that back off. When you tap a project, you can see thumbnails for all the files in that project just like the desktop app, with overlays for the duration and status, and the file name, the uploader icon, the file type icon, and upload date below. Above the thumbnails are icons for all team members and collaborators who have access. Swiping down on them allows you to see their names and add people. At the top right, tapping the Share icon lets you share the entire project or selected files as either a review link or a presentation. Here I'll select the files to share, add a recipient, turn off downloading, and click Done. From the same Share button, you can also manage any links you've already created. Tapping Learn More brings you to Frame.io's support page. Tap the Options button to change the view. Upload files to this project, make a folder, refresh the project, or delete it. I'll cancel that because I want to upload files to a new project in a minute. Touch Drag a file thumbnail to scrub through the file and preview its contents. Tap a file to see it. If it's video or audio, it'll play. Threaded comments are shown below. Just like the desktop app, you can add comments or apply to existing comments and even add annotations. You can replay the region around a comment by tapping the profile image next to the comment. For a larger view, turn your device horizontally. Tap to play or pause. You can also jump forward or back in 10 second increments. Tap here to airplay a clip to another display. Tap the Options menu to share the file or save it locally to your camera roll. If you choose to save it, you can select the original resolution or a proxy resolution. If you tap Share, you can send only a presentation link via email or text or copy it, and you can choose if the recipient can download and if they need a password. You can of course change the status of a file here. and optionally notify project members. And return to the project by tapping the X. If you're reviewing a still image, you can zoom in close and pan around. Frame.io can render images up to 8K in resolution, or 42 megapixels, and supports high-resolution images including over 100 raw image formats. Double tap to fit the image back to the screen. Let's tap Projects to view all the projects, and create a new project by tapping the plus button. I'll give it a name. 
I'll make it private, disable download, invitations and share links. I'll leave the notifications at their defaults, and I'll tap Create. Now to upload media directly from my iPhone, I'll tap the Options button, tap Upload, then I can Browse, then tap Locations, where I can select my iCloud Drive, or I can tap Edit and enable other locations like Box or Dropbox. I'll click Done and Cancel and start again. But this time, go to my camera roll, select Filmic Pro, select a couple files to upload, and tap Done. And now I'm uploading my media right from my phone directly to Frame.io. Tapping the Notifications button at the bottom of the screen reveals a chronologically ordered list of notifications. Tapping one brings me directly to the commented file at the timecode location of the comment. Finally, if I tap Profile, I can see our current storage and team member status. Tapping the gear icon lets me enable Touch or Face ID, and tapping Send Feedback opens a chat window, so I can talk with customer support directly. As you can see, all the power of Frame.io on the desktop is accessible on the go with the iOS app.